Now let's take a look at some of the new features that have been added to the Deliver page in DaVinci Resolve 14. And I'm going to start with an invisible feature. If I scroll over to show the Pro Tools preset, I'm not going to select it. But despite the addition of the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve, there's still robust support for exporting to Pro Tools, specifically exporting AAF to Pro Tools. And if you select the Pro Tools option, then the new feature is the ability to be able to export the audio track names that you have defined in your timeline to Pro Tools. So if you've named your tracks, those names will now go over to Pro Tools to give the Pro Tools editor a starting point. Going back to the default custom setting, there have been some new options added to different formats that you can render in DaVinci Resolve. First off, if I go scroll down the list, there's new support for Grass Valley HQ settings. And if I keep going down, there's new support for VP9 at a variety of different bit depths. If I scroll up and choose H.264, in addition to the encoding profile pop-up that lets you choose how you want to encode your H.264 movie, there's a new pop-up that lets you choose whether you want to output a single or multi-pass H.264 encoding. So you can now do multi-pass H.264 encoding right inside of Resolve. If I scroll back up to the top, you'll see that there is an option to turn on network optimization. And I am told that what this is for is the ability to render out in such a way that other people on the network can start playing the resultingly rendered movie before it's even finished rendering. So that's really handy. And then the last new feature in the Deliver page, and really these are all media format features, is if I go into MXF and we take a look at some of the DNX HR options, specifically for HQX and 444, you can see that there are 10 and 12 bit options for both DNX HR HQX and DNX HR 444. So a lot of this has come in in support of HDR mastering, where 12 bit is a really good thing to have. But 12 bit mastering is good for just about any kind of programming content. If you want to learn more about Resolve's new features, you should check out my library of different training titles at rippletraining.com.